Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 12 for our 48 firewall series. So in this video, we are going to see how exactly source NAT works in 48 firewall. So in this video, I'm going to cover what is NAT, what are the types of NAT that is available in 48 firewall, why it is required, what is source NAT and NAT pool and the source static NAT. And I'll show you the practical as well how we can configure a source NAT and NAT static okay so this is very important guys wherever you go for any organization no matter it's a small company or a big company they'll be using the NAT okay so I will recommend you to please watch this video till the end so that you can understand how can we configure a NAT and you will also understand the concept about NAT as well so uh, try to see this video till the end and also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, now we'll understand what is NAT, why it is required and what are the types of NAT. Okay, with the help of these two diagrams, we'll try and understand okay NAT basically if you try to understand the full meaning of NAT that is at ad network address translation basically what we are doing we are translating the network address network address meaning that the IP address okay so before we understand NAT let's understand the type of IP address okay so first is the private IP address and the second is public IP address okay now public ad ip address can be reachable or you will be able to communicate to public ip address if you are sitting at your home or your office or anywhere else restaurant or mall wherever you are you will be able to connect to public ip address but in case of private ip address you cannot reach from one location let's say one location to another location but if you are at your own home and if you want to connect to or in your organization if you want to connect one pc to another pc with the help of private ip address you can do that so basically on internet okay this private address is not routable meaning that it cannot go so for that reason what we are doing with the help of nat we are converting this private ip address to public ip address so that our traffic can go to internet so that is the reason when you are sitting at your home and you want to go to internet, let's say you want to access google.com or a facebook.com, you can go with the help of NAT. So that's what I was telling that if you are in a small organization or you are at home as well, when you are using your Wi-Fi router or something, you are going to do a NAT in your Wi-Fi router or in uh, organization router, firewall, whatever it is the devices supports natting so natting is everywhere so the basic funda of natting where you don't have routes okay you if you want to do a routing then you can do the natting or if you want to convert some ip address from one location to another location or maybe private to public this is the most common thing that you are going to do with the nat okay now we'll we'll try to understand the types of nat right there are two major type of nats okay first is source nat okay and the second is destination nat right so destination nat and source nat meaning that whenever you go and try to understand so what it says network address translation in network layer like layer 3 if you try to understand or if you try to take a look at the header you will find two IP addresses one is source IP address one is destination IP address right so when you are changing the source IP address when you are changing the destination IP address when you're doing the source it is source NAT when you're doing for destination it is destination NAT. now we'll understand with this help of this diagram in a detailed manner okay so friends now we'll understand what is source NAT, NAT pool and static NAT okay now again the source NAT is have some kind of types okay first is static that is 
I'll explain you it is one to one mapping okay the second is NAT pool okay so what we have what we are going to do is many to many this is called as many to many okay now third is which is called as policy NAT right so I will be defining some source and some destination if the source is going to this destination then I am going to perform a NAT to certain IP address okay now fourth is the path where I am going from one IP to many IP address okay so basically what happens in all this uh, types I'll explain you one by one okay in static what happens is you are going to allocate some IP address from private IP address to a public IP address that this source will be getting translated to a public source IP address okay so with the help of this diagram if you try to understand this at SNAT SNAT is nothing but a source NAT okay the source is getting translated to some different IP address so basically the source NAT will be used when your traffic is going from your inside network to internet okay that is called outbound connection basically it will be used in that okay now in NAT pool what happens you have a range of IP address so I define 200 dot one dot one dot one two two hundred dot one dot one dot ten so whoever is coming and they will get translated from this pool IP address okay and in policy net I have explained that if the source is going to that particular destination I'll be performing a NAT to a certain public IP address or any IP address which is routable to that particular network okay now we'll talk about PAT basically no PAT is something called if you have like multiple systems multiple system in sense if you have 10 15 20 100 devices in your network and you have only one IP address maybe it can be an interface IP address or uh, you have a public IP address a single public IP address with that single public IP address everything will get translated to this public IP address and it goes to an internet okay so where your it will get translated to same public IP address only the port numbers are getting changed that is the reason it is called as port address translation that is nothing but a PAT okay so this is how the source NAT works in this uh, the pool and the static works in this case okay now we'll go to the practical and we'll understand what are the options that is available in FortiGate and when we do the PAT okay maybe I'll not be able to cover the PAT in very detailed manner how the port address translation happens like with the log and CLI if you guys need that please comment down below so that I can cover it okay let's move on to the lab and I'll show you how we can how we are going to configure it okay so friends now we'll move on to uh, the lab okay so this is the lab uh, like the I, I have used the same lab for our previous uh, video as well so this is our management and this is our local PC this is our inside where we are going to test for the NAT okay and this is our outside which connects to internet and this we are not using right now as a DMZ because we'll be using in DNAT how the need DNAT works will be explaining with the help of DMZ okay so we are not using it right now so let's move on to the dashboard of FortiGate so we'll we are here in the dashboard I have configured the interfaces already <coughs> so the configuration of the interface is already done and although uh, also the static route has already been done okay so what we have to do is we just need to go to policy and we have to configure a policy for this okay so we are going to create a policy naming which is going from inside to outside right outside okay or maybe I'll just keep it as into out 
so incoming interface will be port 0 a uh, port 2 maybe this will be visible for you guys so port 2 to port 3 so I'll be taking port 2 and here port 3 and the source okay right now I'm just defining all because I'm doing pat right now so that is the reason I'm just defining all destination as all okay and here the action is accepted I'm going to do a NAT with the it is it is there already so use the outgoing interface address so uh, for this uh, this is the NAT pat we are doing so with the help of this interface IP address it is going to be NAT okay now if I have I do I'm not I, I don't have any security profile right now so I'm not going to do that okay and I will just enable this policy okay yes service I need to define I forgot to add it I'll just put it as all and I'll click okay so right now as you can see from port 2 to port 3 I can configure the zone as well for this port number so that I will be able to recognize or this will be it this looks more relevant to that okay so now uh, what we have to do is we have to configure this test uh, PC and try to access the internet okay so we are going to test with the test PC right now so let's open the test PC and we have configured the IP address and let's access the internet whether we are able to access the internet or not so not now and I am going to access google.com yes we are able to access we'll see whether this policy is usable now yes it is usable and when we refresh it we'll see some more counts okay we are we are able to see that this uh, is usable right now okay so let's take a look at at the CLI how we can check the NAT over here okay whether how the pat is happening for this so to access the CLI of 48 we just need to click here okay and we'll just de detach it because we just need to check that so get okay system session list okay so if you go for list you will be able to see all those IP address which is getting translated okay so now if you get this example 10.1.1. which is nothing but the PC IP address which is getting translated to the IP address of what if you go to interface if you see the IP address of um, port 3 which is connected to outside and it is getting translated to interface IP address right so same all the connections with port translation the same port it is used to get translated right so this is how exactly it works uh, the pad let me show you the static NAT okay friends now uh, we'll do a one-to-one -one mapping so for that uh, there are two ways we can go to a policy this policy or we can create a pull basically so at this NAT configuration what we have to do is we have to use the dynamic pull and we have to create that particular pool over here so we can do overload we, we can take one IP address and we can do the same thing instead of interface IP address we can configure an IP address and we can do the path or we can do one-to-one -one mapping as well so I'll just put it as static okay and then I'll put the IP address so I've already copied the IP address I'll just choose as 50 okay I'll be choosing the IP address which is same to that particular network okay so I'll be using 50 one to one mapping okay and also this proxy ARP is required so I'll just click OK and I'll choose this close and we are done so easy right so if if now we'll go to this particular test machine and we'll try to access the internet so for an example if I want to go to youtube.com now we'll see whether it is reachable or not yes it is reachable I can see the page is getting open now we'll go to the CLI and again we will go and try to check what is the so get system session 
list right so now we are seeing it is getting translated to 250 okay so right now it is a static and it is one to one mapping okay maybe if we could ha i could have more system i could have showed how the pat works basically and how the nat works okay maybe if you guys wanted to see with the two pc explanation you can comment down below and you can let me know that uh, i wanted to see that particular pad how exactly a pad works you can comment down and i will take it in next video okay uh, this is what i wanted to cover in this video if if you like this video just put the like and also comment it that i want the pad video as well in a detailed manner how exactly works in uh, fortigit firewall and also uh, uh, if you have any suggestion for my video you can comment down or you can send me an email or uh, message on instagram or facebook wherever you want thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you never miss a video for me thank you so much i'll see you in the next